Hey, what's up everybody? I'd like to welcome you to another Juice tutorial. And today what we're going to talk about is a way to set up the Juice plugin host so that we're able to actually debug and test out our plugins without having to continue to open and close Ableton. You saw how long that was taking in my past tutorials. And there's a quicker way and I'm going to show you how. Uh, there are a few things that we need to set up in order to get the host set up and, and running in a way that we can actually properly test out our game plugin and I'm going to show you and walk you through these steps right now. So if you go into your applications folder, uh, this is on a Mac, it might be a little bit different on a PC, and then you just go into juice, then you go into examples, and then you go into audio plugin host, and then you just open up this juicer file here. So you have this source code here, and I think I've been able to replicate the error that I was getting before, but let me see. So let's just say we save and open an IDE. Just wait for X, Xcode to open up for us. One day. Okay, here we go. Here we are in Xcode. Okay, so let's just try to compile this as it is see what happens might remember where I put the other full where I put the folder it appears it's going to remember no it doesn't remember okay great so this is an error that you might find when you first try to compile that uh, base IIDS dot CPP is not found okay and in order to get that what we need to do is we need to the reason that we're getting that is because we're missing the Steinberg VST3 SDK. So we're able to compile AU and VST plugins, but we need to be able to uh, download the the VST3 SDK in order to get this uh, plugin host working properly. So if you go to the Steinberg website, I'll put the link in the description below, and then just scroll down, and then you have this. VST 3.6.7 audio plugins SDK, the 66 meg one. That's the one that you want to download. Okay. And when you download it, I'll show you what you get. I've put mine in my development folder, just in SDK. You get this folder called VST underscore SDK. Then it has a whole bunch of stuff in it. So what we need to do now is we need to actually link up juice to show it where this, this SDK is. So the way to do that, if you go to Producer, then go to Global Search Paths, you'll see here this under SDK, VST, S, VST3 D, SDK, and then we just got to link that to the proper folder. So it's in Development, uh, SDK, then you got to actually go into VST SDK and then click on this VST3 underscore SDK and press open and I think that should work for us so let's go ahead and try to open that in Xcode again let's see if it works and it appears that it's going to compile successfully first first one always takes a long time Okay, so we got build succeeded. And then I'll show you what comes up. Should come up any second here. Where is it? Okay, so then you get this window here, which just gives us kind of, if you've ever used Max MSP or anything like that, uh, gives you just some audio inputs that you could, and where you can route all of your plugins, any plugin that you want to bring in here, you can bring, bring in and, and actually use it in this window. Okay, so one thing that you might be thinking, well, one thing that was a problem that I ran into. So let me just let me just uh, open Juice. I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open the uh, game tutorial project that I had. Okay, I'm just gonna open that. Getting a couple windows here. I'm just gonna minimize this for a second. So then I'm gonna compile in it. I'm going to compile the VST version of my plugin. Uh, one problem that I uh, that took me a little while to figure out was if you've been following along with the tutorials, um, you might want to set your your uh, 
your size a little bit bigger in the on the x-axis I set it to 400 because I had it at 100 before and it was too small and I wasn't actually getting my uh, close out and minimize windows and I was wondering what was going on and it was racking my brain for a second but you just have to make your window a little bit bigger so I've, I went ahead and I uh, and that's that's a success, successful compilation and you can actually find the latest version of your plugin if you go into the actual the actual project folder so I'll go into parameter tutorial one then if you look in builds and then you just go through this little structure here and then you just keep up clicking through you actually get to the VST that I've just built okay so what you can actually do here is I can actually take this and I can actually drag this in like so and then if I double click on it it actually brings up the plugin itself where I can test it okay but you'll notice that there's a problem here we don't actually have any sort of audio that we can actually test this out on even if I drag this even if I were to connect these right now it wouldn't it wouldn't work properly okay so because there's no there's this is this is just kind of a bare bones host so you actually need an audio player to actually be able to test this luckily somebody's created one for us uh, I scoured on the juice forums and this nice developer Jonathan Rax actually created an audio file audio file play, player plugin for us I was actually looking for for one on the web and it, you'd be surprised <laughs> there's nothing really out there that just plays a wave file at its regular speed with just the start and stop button um, but luckily this guy did I'll put this link below as well for you to uh, to clone it or download it and then what you can do is once you get in there you once once you download it then you get in here you have to open this up and you have to build it once but once you build it you will find his his plugin here in the folder so what I can do is I can I can just exit out of I'll just minimize this for now and what I'll do is I'll actually drag this in here like so And really really nice of them to do that so thanks John if you're watching it takes a minute to just kind of load up just wait for this it takes it takes a little, quite a while actually first time around there it is so now you just have to route your your audio so I can just uh, this one. Oh no. Hope I don't get stuck here. Okay, cool. So I'll just take this, drag this, and I could go like this. Connect my wires up. Left, left input, right out input. And then the outputs to the output, like so. I'll just connect this just in case. I don't think you need to really connect it. And then if I double click, you have an audio file here. Uh, audio file player here and you can just take and drag a song in here and there we go okay so now you have a file you can play it and then from here you can just test out your plugin and see how it's running and see it's running fine yeah so that's so that's basically it for this tutorial uh, just a real quick thing just to help you get set up so you can so you can debug and test out your plugins a lot easier just uh, one quick note that I should that I should let you know is that when you so so let's say that we wanted to go back and we wanted to do more development on this you do have to just close out of that and then recompile it once you've once you've compiled, recompiled your uh, the the plugin that you want to run and uh, test out in order for it to reflect the changes, similar to the way Ableton you had to close out Ableton. So you have to close out the host and then you have to recompile it, just like this. So, so don't close this out. Just keep that keep that around and it and it opens really quickly, a lot quicker than Ableton or Logic will. And then you can just drag it drag in the the latest build of the plugin and then be able to test out. 
the build. So I hope, I hope that that was helpful for you today and I will see you next time.